Greetings! Today we'll be viewing a 2 versus 2 on the map Burnt Hills. I do believe this was between Magpie and myself versus Setin and Twilight. <laughs> Alright, so first things first. Let's go walk over into the abyss somewhere. Hold fire. Looks like up here we have myself in the I call that top right. In the bottom right, we have Magpie. And then over here, on the in the bottom left, kind of on the mountain, we've got Twilight. And just over in the corner is Setin. Let's speed this up a little bit. We've got a storage and two max start from Setin. We've got storage max and a wind from Twilight. We've got storage two max and looks like he get he looks like he's getting a solar up here from Magpie. And we went straight for the vehicle plant into metal extractors from myself. The vehicles coming out from Setin and myself. Uh, Twilight looks like he's doing K-Bots, and Magpie is working on an aircraft plant. <laughs> Excuse me, my nose is a little stuffy today. So I'm sending scouts out, trying to grab some of this metal. I do believe the, um, the patches here you're unable to build on. At least directly. I think I was able to kind of get some of the metal out of that one. I wonder if that was the same everywhere. Oh, that's unfortunate. For me, at least. <laughs> Fortunate for Twilight. So we've got uh, probably Exploiter going up here by Setin, and he is sending a scout out. I've got a few here in the pass to um, just help cover radar. So he won't be caught off guard there. Sutton does try to sneak past, but I'm able to intercept him. We've got some peewees coming out from Twilight. He's getting a nice little base set up here. He's got radar. He's got defense. He's working on his energy up there. I don't remember what winds were. They must be good, though. We've got Magpie doing solars over here, and he's got his aircraft plant up. Looks like he's got uh, bombers, a bomber, and some blade wings, just in case. <laughs> Always a good thing to build if you're core. Um, you can lock down early scouts, things like that. Oh, sorry, it's, didn't realize that my nose was so stuffy. I did come in, looks like scouted set in a little bit, and I am coming on the south side of here of Twilight Space. <laughs> Trying to get rid of this exploiter. Hopefully get this constructor. I think I just barely missed it though. Bomber would have been nice on that from Mag. He might get something here though. It looked like he was targeting the vehicle plant. With two bombers, I think you need three bombers total to um, destroy a lab. So he might have been better off, especially after he spotted the commander there, just going up trying to grab some mexes or his energy there. Looks like I'm getting some Janus out to help counter the um, Shoden there. Hoping I can just burst it down real quick. I did manage to grab this metal from Twilight there. And the Shodan is doing some damage, but I did manage to get it. Looks like Magpie's also up here, causing some grief for Twilight. Some gunships would have been really nice here. The only thing he's really got to stop it was his commander. He would have been able to knock all that out much faster. Um, he could have swung around to the side here. Probably knocked out that energy storage after the commander came down here. 
Uh, I mean, he definitely could have taken these wins out if he had gunships. <laughs> so I'm just creeping along the side here trying to look for some easy pickings. I think I tried to attack this group, but the um, I didn't want to engage that peewee. We've got a small push coming in of weasels here from Seton. Oh, he locked his commander in. I didn't realize that's what he uh, said the oops about. So Sutton gets some pretty good info, I think. He didn't quite see the lab. Not sure if he saw that stuff. But he did make it pretty far back there. I'm building up. Nice little force of scouts here. We've got some Jethros to counter the air coming out from Magpie. I do manage to nailed a big group of them with a the, uh, artillery though so that's kind of nice he's going to try and engage with his uh, peewees since they can definitely take out artillery but I do have a lot of jeffies coming through he's, a, he's got a lot of peewees laying chase uh, and just I do have the upper hand on speed I kind of cornered myself here though and I ran into two exploiters which wasn't great should be able to get one maybe maybe not he is repairing it which kind of sucks I can't believe he was able to repair it through all that <laughs> That's... that was a lot of jeffies I think because the exploiters uh, repair themselves or something, it it's hard to get that finishing hit unless you do a certain amount of damage. So the Jeffies probably just don't have the output. We do have Magpie building on the mountains up here, which is nice. Got some bombers coming up. Probably to hit this stuff here. <laughs> Looks like a large Peewee push from Twilight. Um, Magpie really doesn't have too much here. He's got his commander and a couple instigators, which, which was enough to deter him. But I feel like if Twilight pushed right on through, I mean, he would have lost at least half of his forces. But he could have got back here and killed all of this, I'm sure. Engaging um, my units up here, I mean, it's kind of evenly matched. I do have a Stumpy or two mixed in, which helps a bunch. But, I mean, the, the Jeffies really aren't for um, direct combat like that. Just try to um, get out of there and go see what else I can hit. Looks like Setton does have air up. I uh, did manage to get the Exploiter again. Stumpy does come through and finish it, it looks like, though. And I managed to get a constructor, which was nice. Magpie bombs out the uh, the two up here, the two exploiters. But he is being um, engaged by Sentence there. Here we have Sentence base. He's got his air plant up. He's got a few solars, a few winds. Doesn't have lots of energy. In fact, nobody's really doing great on energy right now. Tons of units from Twilight here. He could... You know, the commander's in a better spot this time. Um, the commander's right in that choke point, which would probably not be a good place to um, push through. But I feel like he's being a little too skittish. Like, if he just ran straight through here, once again, he would have been able to kill so much. That leveler would cause him some problems. But he's really not... He does get my energy storage. I self-destructed a Twilight there to help lock those units down. But, I mean, if he comes up here, he's going to be taking fire from all this. And he doesn't have the information, but 
um, I feel like they could use to scout me because this is twice now he could have done a lot of damage to us like he could have the first time he could have set magpie back a lot Or at, I mean, if he got rid of that air plant the first time, and that that's a whole avenue of attack that we would have lost. <laughs> Trying to get some Samsons up in this little ravine here to hopefully get rid of Setons there. And he's pushing it with some Shodens, which I really don't have the units to combat, especially if he's got the support of some K-Bots. I'm trying to get some Jameis up to help with that. But right now, they definitely have the momentum. Tons of energy coming out from Twilight here. He is starting his advanced lab. Um, looks like Seton's starting to get some more energy up as well. But really not a whole lot. He's probably getting a lot of spillover from Twilight, I imagine. Trying to make a push to the south here. Uh, I do ma manage to get pretty far, I feel, further than I thought I would, at the very least. But they are setting up a nice uh, little defensive post here in the center. Magpie's coming through with some levelers, trying to knock some of that out. I had a few Januses going in, uh, but there's heavy resistance there, and immediately a counter push from uh, setting there. We really need to beef up our defenses. Any, like, just something small, even like one HLT with Dragon's Teeth would help immensely. I think they one shot instigators now, so. I mean, they don't attack like the fastest, but that would help a lot. Because right now we've got, like, I've got this stuff for defense, and that's pretty much it. My HLT there got bombed out. I am. Getting some energy up back here as well as advanced vehicles. We've got solars going down on the bottom here from uh, Magpie. And tons of reclaim to be had, honestly. Getting a nanolathe platform up. Uh, his advance is like 40, <clears throat> 35-40%. We've got advance starting up from Setton here. <laughs> And he's doing some bombing things. Um, I'm at about 60% for my advanced. Looks like he's getting some Wolverines, some levelers. Trying to get a Guardian up. They've got a Mine Layer turret, which should help a lot. Mine Layer turret is a really good idea right here. because I mean, its range isn't the greatest. Uh, plus... Oops. So it's... Alright, well, maybe not. <laughs> so its range does cover pretty much the whole little choke point here. Decent enough area. I mean, the chances of you slipping through here aren't the best. And he's got defenses back there anyways. But that mine layer turret should help out a lot. Magpie's got his commander up here. Um... Probably not smart. If he knew everything that was over here, he probably wouldn't be there. He's getting decently chewed up. I mean, he was taking quite a bit of fire. They're really pushing to try and get him. Luckily, I had some Janus ready to react. Because that could have been a disaster. They are getting that Guardian up, though, which will really help them lock down that center. I don't know where that Janus came from. <laughs> he must have just been sitting over here for quite some time. Tons of air coming up from um, setting here to help protect this pass. My vehicle plant's about 80%. We've got about 45 on Setin and about 95 on Twilight. 
trying to make a little push with lemmings here. Didn't really do much. Twilight pulled his K-Bots back, which was very smart. And Magpie is still trying to apply some pressure with his commander. But once that Guardian gets up and that HLT, I mean, his commander is toast. I don't think we've seen that Guardian yet. I'm pretty sure he marks it later. Right now, it's just rough. Um, honestly, a a Condor or a Vindicator. What does he have? Uh, see, I. <laughs> that's so, uh, Condor, um, rather a Vindicator on the core side. A air transport, multi-air transport, would have worked beautifully here, I think. He could have came right down here. Um, you would have taken a little bit of fire, but that's not enough to stop it. They've got a decent amount of armor. He could have drove right up here and wrecked Twilight's economy. Just dropped the units right in there. I mean, let's take a look. Plus, what is it, Corgator? Hold fire. So, and then, plus, is it just Condor or Arm Condor? I'm sorry, I'm missing stuff because I can't type. It's neither one of those. Um, Woo! Lemmings blowing up. So, that Guardian is just about to finish. That HLT is done. Twilight does have his advanced. So does Seton. And so do I. Let's see. And Magpie is just starting his advanced air, it looks like. So... Let's take a look real quick. Say I had five, however many instigators that was. Obviously, I won't like be able to die or kill anything, but let's just take a look at how much fire I take. It. I wonder if will I take fire? I might not take fire. All right. Well, never mind then. But. It's still very light, I mean. I definitely take shots from those. We've got a big push coming from Twilight. Hold that thought. Um, tons of peewees. Luckily, I do have an HLT up, which is dead now. The chainsaw, uh, it's anti-air, but it will do pretty good splash damage. We've got a beamer in back with the support, and then I pretty much lost all the units I had defending that, which kind of sucks. Magpie trying to bum out this bunker. Um, honestly, I think bunkers are... B bun <laughs> bunkers are kind of nice in the sense that... Like, they're really hard to kill. They're stationary and they can hold... I think it's up to 16 units. Might be dependent on the unit's weight. I don't quite remember. But they can be really nice, and they're really hard to take out. So I feel like unless... Like, killing the bunker should be your last option. If you can get around it in any way, that's probably the best... Probably your best bet, because you can... Like, he's probably got all these nanos here, just repairing things in the area. So once you start hitting the bunker, they're just going to start repairing and... Maybe I'm wrong because it's not repaired yet, but I feel like he was repairing it. I mostly would leave bunkers alone until you get stuff to deal with it. We've got banishers coming out from uh, Seton here. I've got anything to stop that? What do I have to stop a banisher? I've got a Hermes here. Looks like Twilight's got mines up. 
mines and dragon's eyes. Banisher trying to hit my uh, construction, ve construction vehicle there. I do have a penetrator. I wonder, did he see that? Luckily, luckily, you know, we <laughs> we were thinking alike. One of the first things out of my lab seems to be a penetrator, and then he got the uh, banisher out. <laughs> Lost it to the guardian there. That was a shame. That was a shame. We've got diplomats coming out from setting here. That's my stuff. Destroy that. This is mine. Destroy that. I didn't take fire because I'm not technically in this game, but that almost definitely would have worked. Even right now, we could have sent a Vindicator up. Uh, there's a Flacker. There's his commander. That wouldn't have been a good spot right here. But the south side, I think, would have been great. Like, even the Sam, you would have lost a lot of HP, but at worst, it emergency drops things, and you take out the Sam, and then you do another one. So I'm getting some Panthers out. Uh, really nice for just like light skirmishing. They're pretty cheap. They're only uh, 200 some metal. So 220 metal, 6,000 energy. They have a AOE lightning weapon and anti-air. Um, they're, they're light as far as advance is concerned, but especially against things like K-Bots, they can definitely get the job done because of their lightning weapon. Fido's, Fido's are pretty mean. Fido's are about the same cost as a uh, Panther. And they, they have direct fire and artillery fire. You see, he put a lot more into everything there. I had two Panthers. He has, like, I don't know, ten, ten Fido's, five Ares. I'm going to need a little bit more to do that with. I'm airlifting, like, mobile Flackers and Hermes up here to try and keep the whatchamacallit his air traffic down I w wasn't sure how he was killing me apparently he's the diplomat though so we've got twilight and set and looks like he's pushing in got this banisher back here going elsewhere but he does have some diplomats following up with this stuff I do have a penetrator again um, it's making quick work of all these units Unfortunately, they've started to spread out, so it's becoming less effective. But I think their target is probably the Guardian here, or the Toaster. It's, it's yeah, we really needed more defenses. Because, I mean, I've, I just put that Guardian up. Like, I've been trying to defend, but I can't put enough resources into it. And other things, if, you know. Magpie got his advanced air up. He's getting infusions. I did give him a constructor. Some rapiers would be really nice right here. Since they're not bringing in too much AA. There were some areas earlier. But, I mean, yeah, the hawks are working. But they're not the most, like, they're not very effective. The... Like, air weapons do a third of the damage to ground units. So, it might work, but, I mean, he's losing them. Banisher just came and take him, took him out. Did get that Banisher, though. Like, they work, but it's you can do better things. Rapiers would get the job done quicker. They're not going to stand a chance against Flackers. You might be able to get enough Rapiers to just get rid of the Flackers. It might be like a a lose-lose situation there like you both lose but still I do have another penetrator up it's the it's it's my saving grace at this point the only thing that's been keeping me alive I should have just doubled down on penetrators but they're they're costly like that's not easy to do they take energy to fire mind you and they also cost about a thousand metal and almost 30,000 energy Banishers are pretty similar. Almost a thousand metal and forty-two thousand energy. Wasn't very happy with the um Mumbos there. I do like Mumbos in big groups. But I mean they're about 
about 400 metal, 12,000 energy. I was trying to kill the, uh, where'd I go? That guy. The termite there, which is definitely more expensive. Uh, but they just, they, I felt like they weren't doing much damage, if at all. Like, it was a, it was a losing fight. I would not recommend Mumbo's versus termites. <laughs> termites are tough. Termites are tough. So, I mean, this isn't a bad little group here, but I don't think I get very far with it. Did manage to get the termite that time, but we've got this just group of finos coming down to murder me. You got this banisher here, just keeping a watch over the pass. Much like it's much like my penetrator. Um, I mean they've actually they've got tons more defenses, so the banisher's just a bonus, but banisher's like main defense at this point. This is their backup stuff. That's the supporting fire. I th this is my main defense as penetrator, and then all these units that just run and die are my supporting fire. You can see the you can see the difference in the effectiveness between the <laughs> Um, what do we got going on? We got more termites coming out. Looks like he's getting MRUs. Uh, working on deep cores. I don't think I was really doing a great job at upgrading my resources here. I never do deep cores. I need to do deep cores more. It seems like... It seems like you should definitely do deep cores earlier. We've got tons of scouts up here giving line of sight for like the banisher and the guardian. Another penetrator coming up. I oh, I wanted to just take a look real quick, pause everything, because I feel like we, I feel like we got creamed here, but I feel like we could have done lots of stuff. So I was upgrading. I think if I did like. Deep cores, that would have helped. Um, resource wise, what are we looking at? We've got Setting at 48, Twilight at 37, Magpie 34, Me 35. So Setting is pulling ahead in terms of resources. He looks like he's starting a Juno there. Uh, he's got some MRUs up. He does have Moho. He's got a few MRUs up. It's probably where. Um, He's pulling ahead. He's got four? Five? Yeah, five. That's an extra 15 metal right there. That's pretty much covers it. Pretty much covers the difference there. And then he's... Like, he's got four or five MRUs, one Moho, and he's going straight to a deep core. Which is going to net him quite a bit more, I feel. Oh, he's got... Mostly MRUs here. They're just scattered everywhere. Which is really smart. Um, I don't know why I didn't do that. I don't think I... I think we are We had enough pressure on us that using my advanced for resources wasn't really an option. Like, he's got... They, they've got a decent enough defensive line. And Twilight's pushing pretty hard, so he doesn't need to put too much into units. He's got his Banisher, which is out here doing lots of work. And then we've just got Fido's that keep coming in from Twilight. So he's... <laughs> we both we both built a, uh, a Juno here. <laughs> but, um... Like the... Like Fido's... The blah, 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 blah. Twilight and his Fidos are putting a lot of pressure on us, and that Banisher is really holding on down the fort. I probably could have made some MRUs. Um, it's not like the units I was making were doing much much of anything. Um, I feel like Magpie, he's making a lot of vamps, and they're, I mean they're killing stuff, but they're not really getting us anywhere. Like, he's got lots of options here that could have done a lot if he had some advanced bombers. 
probably could have done a lot of work. Um, a crow or a cauterizer. A crow or a cauterizer might have won us the game, if I'm being honest. <laughs> um, down here, I mean, we do have a flacker. Two flacker. So we've got like two flackers here. We've got a Sam. We've got little light laser turrets. But it's not heavily defended. It's nothing like you could send an advanced bomber in on that flacker. And, I mean, you get rid of that. You get rid of that. You might get rid of this. You send another one in on this flacker. That flacker's almost certainly dead. You might get this HLT there. And then you could do one more for the Sam. Meanwhile, they probably would have rebuilt something, but... If you were to do that all at once, take that all out and then follow up with like a crow or a cauterizer. I mean, if you make it back here, crow's going to destroy all of this, all of this, and he'll still probably be like at least 70% health. You can come up, you can get rid of these MRUs, Set and might try to self-destruct them on you. Um, maybe not the best thing, maybe you just come up and grab Twilight's base if it's a crow. You risk um, getting degunned by the commander, but you could have just skirted around the edge here. Got all of these. I mean, that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's eleven advanced solars, which start fifty energy. So that's that's about five hundred fifty energy right there. If you're shooting those, you absolutely would have taken some shots at these winds, and they all would have gone up. Like Twilight would have been hurt. <laughs> He hasn't got his fusion up yet, I, and I don't know if Magpie could have built a crow, but he probably he probably put enough resources into other things that he could have gotten a crow. And I mean, they are they are a bit twenty five hundred metal, one hundred sixty thousand energy, but he's probably put that into vamps metal wise at least. Uh, let's resume real quick. But yeah, I think. I think the um, a crow would have done tons of damage. You could have sent it up here. It would have taken some damage, but it absolutely would have taken out that Sam, that Flacker. Um, once again, you run the risk of being degunned by the commander, but you could have flown right past that. You could have taken out the back area back here. Probably could have gotten rid of all of this. And you, you don't ever know. You might not have been able to, but... I think you I think a crow would stand a pretty good chance at pretty much ending this game, if I'm being honest. Cause I mean look at the like yeah, the vamps are killing stuff, but look how far the Fidos make it. We've got the Looks like I'm shooting off my Juno here. Took out the Guardian here. Some of the LLTs. Looks like I got the Moho. Looks like I'm just firing at units now. Um, this now this bought us some really good time here. Um, I don't know where the Banisher went to. I only wish I would have had units to follow up a little bit better. Like he's still building up Fidos. He's producing Fidos at a really good, really good rate to keep himself safe. I wish I had more info. It looks like oh, he got my Juno. He got a termite up here and killed it. I'm pretty sure he might have just bombed it. I wish I would have scouted before doing that, though. Let a few more build up. I would have found his Juno. I would have been able to take that out because I probably would have scouted, you know, this way. I would have come down here, up here, try and find the best spots. But now his Juno's just wrecking my stuff over here. And it's pretty much downhill spiral at this point. A nice little T1 uh, tank push coming in. And he really doesn't have much. He's got the blade wings. And then the vamps will clean up with the help of his tanks, but I really think, because I don't think he built anything other than the vamps. 
if Magpie had done more with like rapiers or like the higher level tier two, like crows and cauterizers, I think we could have stood a chance. If, um, if I had focused more gremlins, if I had done gremlins earlier, it would have been probably would have been great. I, just, <laughs> I really needed to utilize gremlins more. Um, recluse would have been a good good thing because I could just go right over the hill here. And if I sent some recluse over this hill, I mean, what, there's, there's, um, Sam's to stop me. Like, that's nothing. He's coming in with his massive, it's not even massive, but that's a lot of firepower right there. A few reapers, you've got the termite, um, you've got the flackers, which are going to just shut down all his air. The only thing holding them back is his own wreckage. <laughs> A better defensive line would have helped if we had set something up earlier we would have had more breathing room uh, we set really nothing up I had a few things up here I'm not sure magpie had anything down here which is really risky especially considering he was mostly relying on like blade wings and fighters he did have some tier 1 tanks but I once they get past here you know You've seen the Fidos, like three, four Fidos, just make it all the way up here. And at this point, I'm pretty sure the game's over. We've got Pelicans coming in. I can't stop Pelicans with what I'm pumping out here. Especially not a group that size. Pelicans can be really mean. They're very energy intensive, though, to build since they're hovers, technically. But they have anti-air. You can see they're just taking out those vamps. No, no issues right there. Blade Wings probably should have came in first. Um, he could have stunned that. And then I guess the vamps could have came in. Or he's got this little group of tanks here. Well... It's not very, it's not really little, it's a decent amount, but when you're up against Reapers and Banishers, it's, it's not great. Yeah, I think if I had done Recluse, I could have done some big damage. I, I should have focused a little bit more on my metal as well. Um, like these are just uncapped, he kept destroying these, and I just never went back for them. Uh, that one got destroyed, I didn't even know. These two I couldn't build on. I finally made air to try and do some some bombing things. And I mean, look at this. Like, there's one flacker there, but with just tier one, I mean, ten bombers, I was able to do all that. Obviously, the flacker is going to cause issues, but if I had tier two, I might have been able to get through. I don't know. The reliance on vamps, I think, is a big mistake. I <laughs> thought termite just coming and destroying everything. There's nothing I can really do about it. I was making bombers. If I had done gunships, I would have been able to kill it, but it didn't really matter at this point. Take a look at their base here. Lots of advanced solars coming out. He's got his MRUs, which they're like 500 energy or 250 energy. I think they're 500 energy, 3 metal. Yeah, 500 energy, 3 metal. Trying to hold back the termites, but it's a lost cause at this point. I give my stuff to Magpie so he can make one final stand. <laughs> it was a good game though. It was a really intense battle in the center here. I really like this map. I don't 
I don't feel like there was ever really a moment of peace. <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, oh yeah, Magpie got a Bertha up. A Bertha, apparently. <laughs> um, not a bad idea at all. Uh, there's, we happened way too late in the game, though. Berthas would have been a great idea. Um, especially if I had done some Berthas, I could have put them up here. It's a little more defensible. And I really could have locked this area down and done some damage. That's actually not bad at all. I didn't even think of Berthas until uh, Magpat put his up. But if I could have gotten some Berthas up here, you know, you get a few defenses right here. Maybe you can fit something right there. A couple things right there. Wall this off. Rather, wall that off with a gate right here. Um, I guess the termites could climb up, but if my Bertha was like right around here, it would have been it would have been rough to actually get up. I think like you can go up any cliff, but we'll wall that off too. Why not? <laughs> Just put a wall, put some fort walls around the Bertha, some uh, fort HLTs. That's actually not a bad idea. You get some four HLTs around your Bertha and make sure there's some flackers a little forward. It'd probably last a while. I think... I think the, um... The laser and the sound was upgraded for the termites. I really like the... I've never noticed them stand out before like that. But I really like the, um... The sound coming out from that. If you can hear it under over the uh, under the emit EMGs there, but I mean, I don't know. I, this is a really good game. We definitely got outplayed. Um, we got out resourced, but n I don't think it was by a whole lot. Mostly, I feel like we just definitely got outplayed here. The gremlins I've gifted the magpie. Last ditch effort to take out the advanced vehicle plant. They don't do a lot of damage. Um, so taking out something like that. Definitely rough. You take out like uh, metal extractors, fusions, things like that. You're going to have a better time with them. But I mean that was just uh, trying to get one last little victory in. <laughs> But no, that was a really good game. We got our butts kicked, I think. I really should have... I think the birth idea would have been really good. There we go. Alright, we actually did get an end screen. Okay, so... I mean, yeah, resource-wise, like... It wasn't that bad. Um, like, we weren't terribly outproduced. We had Sentin at about 130. Twilight about 104. We had Magpie at 85, myself at 95. Like, we did get outproduced, but that's not not a lot. Nothing that's going to change, like, decide the game, right? Uh, energy, Seton had tons more energy, which could potentially, especially with advanced units, could help a lot. Um, excess metal, nobody really used anything there. I really think I really think that was winnable. Um at the very least we could have made it a lot harder for them. Like if we set up some rudimentary like a rudimentary defensive line in the middle pass there, that could have helped out a bunch. Just even even small stuff. Guard you know, one or two guardians, an HLT, some LLTs, just like they had. I mean it's not like their defensive line was super impressive. It was just super effective. <laughs> uh, especially when your opponent has nothing. And then when I finally did get a defensive line up, it was... Or, well, when I decided to get a defensive line up, we were already advanced. Uh, like, everybody was already advanced, so... It was really easy to take that out. Especially when the middle was just in constant conflict there. If I had done like the Bertha plan, put Bertha's on the plateau there and just kind of defended 
that. I mean, I would have had to defend further forward so that they couldn't just circle circle me and kill me, but if I would have put some emphasis on that Bertha plan, I think that could have worked out. Recluse, in the long run, I don't think would have done much, but one or two recluse attacks would have probably worked really well. Um, we could have definitely utilized some advanced air from Magpie. Like the uh, Cauterizer and the Crow, I think, really, at the right time, really could have ended the game. Almost, at least. I don't know if it would have ended the game, but it definitely would have shifted the momentum in our favor, for sure. Because if you get a Crow back there and you get rid of a bunch of resources, not only are they down resources, but they need to set up much better advanced air at that point. Or air defense. Advanced air defense. Which would have bought us a lot of time. Because they wouldn't have been able to focus too much on units. Maybe maybe they would have done that with units. Like mobile flackers and Ares. But that's still things not going into, you know, like Fido's and Banishers. <laughs> all in all, those are really good game. And thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.